Happy summertime, Pisces. Thank you all for being here. If this is your first time here at this channel, please make sure that you subscribe and like this video. Share it if it is supportive of you with a Pisces that you may feel needs this. We are going to go ahead and get into this. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you will know that I have activated the full moon ritual for the Capricorn full moon coming up. It is going to be a blessings honey jar. So yes, check that out on the website. The link is below in the description box. And yes, let's get into this Pisces reading. So Pisces, the energy <laughs> for the summertime for y'all, the song that, that showed up even yesterday <clears throat> was uh say it again by her um i'm gonna say it again no i don't get naughty for anybody um but just with the whole anthem because that song is very much an anthem of what she's speaking of it feels like you are um in many spaces, one proving yourself, another um, speaking up fully for what it is that you want, like boldly, like, hey, let's do this. Like, this is, I'm not accepting anything less than this. I don't need that, right? Um, and just being very sure um, and, and also showing your worth and your value. Um, And also knowing that you are worthy and valuable, right? Not just showing it, but in a more so in a sense embodying this. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what spirit has to add to this. I don't have a lot of background clutter. Hold on. Okay. Oh, yes, you may have some some background energy coming up like you may be trying to uh switch from one place to this place or you may have been operating on a certain frequency and that has um served its purpose it's time to move forward into something new right and with that um getting acclimated with it in in that also shifting right because that's going to take a shift in your subconscious expression right for things to start um panning out in the way in which you desire it to how you see it to be let's see here this here for pisces all right <laughs> okay pisces so we have the moon in your sign in the ninth house so your beliefs, um, you are, yeah, right. So aligning your beliefs to who it is that you are, right? Your soul is expression, your wants, needs, and desires, what makes you feel secure, what makes you feel safe, right? And, and especially in regards to relationships. Um, but also you may just be deciding to take this journey um, on this new spiritual path in regards to your home life, living. Um, you may be deciding to feng shui your home this summer as well um, to align more to your beliefs. Um, you may be shifting your influence to only operate from what it is that you feel to be true for you as well, right? On a soul level though, not, this is nothing practical. This is not about material. This is not monetary anything. Okay, so it feels, it, okay. So from the song and then this, um, maybe you were not fully expressive about what what you believe, how you feel, what you desire, how you want your life to be, what you want it to look like, how you want it to feel, okay? And now, instead of, it's like you're not even worrying about voicing this, you're simply just going to walk it 
is just walking this path and letting that be that, you know, not um, feeling like that the only proof that you need is showing up kind of thing, you know, but <clears throat> at the same time, <laughs> there may be some beliefs illuminated to you that show you where, um, why what you've been trying to achieve hasn't been working in the way in which it is that you have been wanting it to. How if you have been having situations where your path have been being, have been veered off from what it is, from the point which you desired to move to, right? Um, you are definitely coming online, literally. Uh, in regards to that, you may also be learning some new spiritual knowledge. Um, you may be teaching some spiritual knowledge, uh, or you may just be a spiritual practitioner, very intuitive, highly intuitive, highly psychic. Okay, you may be a medium. You may be a um, you may be uh, clairvoyant, clairsentient. Okay, and and sharing this with others for work right for benefit for making a, me a means to funding your sense of security okay your safety your home life your emotional nature may be changing um you could be taking a be starting a journey in regards to a new love relationship as well um something that feels very soulmate oriented you may even have some people who have always been on your journey with you um coming back in your life right or you may just be finding new soulmates along the way all right but this is definitely about you making a decision something is going to be revealed to you something's going to come to light to come to surface if it hasn't already and you got to make a decision this is the two of knives okay so she have her she has two of her eyes gouged out because back in the day they used to say hoodoo workers have four eyes so that they can see here and beyond right and um, something happened with some spiritual work that didn't work out for the for the client and I just got gouged out, right? So <clears throat> this is about making a decision. How are you going to see this? How are you going to go about um, continuing to perceive what it is that your heart desires? Are you going to stay in two minds or are you going to go ahead and move forward with where it is that you want? Um, there may be a, a truce that needs to come became to in regards to your security your home life um your your connections uh may even be your connections with women as well you hmm, you're definitely in two minds about something when it comes to your heart and this summer you seem to be making a decision with that let's see yeah, because underneath Pisces, you have the eight of six. So you are about to start moving forward in a different way. Okay. Um, being a very, there's a lot of growth that has happened within you. And there's more growth that is going to continue to take place. You know, so this, this summer is a lot about nourishing yourself, the truth of who you are. Again, your soul's expression, your sun expression your self-expression all right your inner child as well you know do taking a new route presenting new actions new spiritual illuminations right that are um supporting you and being able to continue forward with the work it is that you do however that may be um maybe candle work may support you in whatever situations it is that you have have been experiencing this here spirit yeah so it's, it's definitely happening this summer you you will you will flourish and you will enjoy you're gonna have a wonderful time 
this summer, but you really need to come to that place of making a decision. And then the ninth house here is to a basket. So do still decisions about the truth about what it is that you want within your relationships. Also about who it is that you are, the wholeness of you, not leaving any part out, right? And taking that journey, being true to that, being true to that path, um, whatever that is for you, however that looks, you know, because things are definitely changing. You have the big house here at the bottom. That is the tower card, all right? So you are basically, um, taking time to see what has not been working. Has your foundation been unstable? Did it come undone in some regard? Did you think something that was gonna last didn't work? Um, you know, whatever was not built on a stable foundation, it, it's, it's come down. It's come down already <laughs> with that big house at the bottom. Okay, so let's see. Or Pisces. So there's a lot of expansion happening for you within love, within relationships, within your connection to spirit, within the spiritual work that you do, whether that is just your routines. Um, you are just in this space of making a decision. All right. You may be moving. You are moving <laughs> for love, it seems moving for love or just so that you can be at peace right it may not necessarily have to be a relationship you may just want like i need peace so i need to do what i need to do be where i need to be go where i need to go all right so that you can get very grounded in your values and what it is that you feel you desire where it is you feel you are headed in your relationships now this is not just love relationships this is partnerships um, work relationships. This could be relationship with yourself, with your children. Okay. However, <clears throat> you know, this is what else? And, and finding some footing, ground, getting grounded. Pedestal. So you have the pedestal here. We have light the way at the bottom. Okay. So this, the, whatever it is that has just kind of come undone for you um it's definitely it's showing you the light to be able to move forward what it is that you need to do and this is offering you knowledge wisdom that is allowing you to be able to guide others as well but this is also helping you see your own inner light right seeing who it is that you truly are right because yeah, the wheel of karma is turning. So then you have pedestal here. Um, this is very justice card energy. So um, however you may have shown up, um, justice will be served. <laughs> and it, it matters. What matters is the choice it is that you choose to make, right? Because that's what she speaks about. Um, and... It says the angelic being is bound round and round, yet her bindings are not secure. She can choose to unbind herself at any moment. Situations are not as dire as they seem. If you have chosen this card today, understand that you must look deeper at things going on in your life. Are you seeing all the different sides of a situation? Perhaps you are feeling restricted when it is your choice to simply decide to be free. We often bind ourselves with limited belief systems and outdated thinking patterns. What habits can you change in order to release yourself from your limited thinking? Many situations are not black and white or good or bad. It's up to you to find the middle ground in your perspective. Find the place where you can sit and see both sides. Ask for clarity to see all the facts before making up your mind. Find your pedestal where you can see the truth and release all that does not fit your chosen reality. All right, everything I've just been talking about. So yesterday I mentioned in Aquarius reading, um, there's this book called Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself that may serve you, that may help you because <clears throat> it's all about the subconscious mind and, and, and tapping into the quantum field. Quantum simply means that there all is one. There is, everything exists right here, right now. You're creating it right here, right now. 
you're visualizing this, you're feeling it, you're immersing yourself in the reality of it, but not having arrived there yet. That is quantum, right? So, but it goes deeper than that because it goes in, it, it goes into the scientific workings of the mind and why it is that the mind, why our reality manifests the way it does. And that's because um, of our subconscious just to put it short and you are the subconscious mind right y'all are like a just a open body of water right so y'all are are very sensitive y'all are always picking up everything around you whether you're paying attention to this or not right and it begins to live within you live through you so random occurrences in your relationships in your life that happen sometimes they don't be belonging to you right because y'all are collective energy Y'all love a cosmos. If anybody has to do with aliens, it's going to be Pisces, not necessarily Aquarius. They're more like robots, okay? Technology, things like that, AI. But besides the point, um, it's very important that y'all always take time to cleanse, to release, to get Reiki, <laughs> okay? Acupuncture, however it is that you need to move these things out of your sphere, okay? Because um, sometimes meditation is not enough. It's a wonderful practice to have, but <clears throat> not everybody is adept when it comes to meditation. That's okay. That's nothing to feel any kind of way about. Um, and sometimes people just don't want to sit around meditating. I get that too. Either way, uh, it's important for you to see what's really there. And I'm not talking about just, oh, this is how I feel. I mean, like really going there. What, where, where has this started? What is this feeling? And did this feeling arise from some experience? Oh, okay, can I send this back to this person? Maybe you can. Maybe you should. Okay. Um, definitely working through and, and changing your mind, reframing your story, uh, all of that, rewriting your narrative by way of your subconscious mind. It's the, it's the mind that feels, right? So it's always spurting things out that nobody asks for, but we don't know why. And the why is because we need to clear it. It needs to be gone. We need to let it heal. Okay, we have to really go there, right? Hypnotherapy, that shit works. All right, let's see what else is here for Pisces spirit. Okay, so we have the Undyne. And this is a number 11. So more justice coming forward for you. Um, cause and effect. You're causing effects in your life, Pisces, or you are a Pisces who are who is in the cycle of cause and effect. You 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 carry out a cause, so now you have to deal with whatever effect. Or you were very um, present, very focused, very aware in what you were doing, so you are causing effects. Either way, it's happening. Okay fairness, balance, justice, truth, all right? That's the only thing that matters here for y'all this summer. If you don't align with what feels right for you, that is truthful for you, it's not for you. That's going to be really simple. It's just the whole um, allowing it to leave when it doesn't. That'd be the whole thing. Like you don't have to hold on <clears throat> to something you don't really want out of I don't know, trying to make other people happy or however. I don't know what y'all got going on. Either way, um, yes, it's about your truth. So you have a chance arriving here for you and this may be in relationships. It says a tale about money that is marvelous and unbelievable is about to be told to you. If what arise or what you hear appears to be good, too good to be true, it probably is. Do not meddle in the affairs of others or you will find yourself in troubled waters from which it will be difficult to escape. The Undyne, a beautiful water nymph with long flowing hair, long flowing like a hair flowing like a river, augurs that you should follow the lines of least resistance to flow out of a difficult situation. By continually do, continually do, continually 
doing <laughs> what is required of you by the demands of time. You flow to your goal. You, you will be bathing in all kinds of possibilities and opportunities if you follow your heart in an enterprising venture. Okay, so whatever you're doing, because you're already doing it, go ahead and continue doing it. If you are in a sticky situation at this time, do what you got to do. Do what you got to do. That's going to keep the peace, right? But also allow you to move beyond the situation and unscathed at the same time for all parties involved to have peace with the end, end result of what's happening here, okay? So let's see. What crystal for Pisces? What crystal for Pisces here? Ooh. Your energy may be protecting somebody. That's interesting. I don't know what that's about. Your energy may be protecting somebody. Um, hmm. I don't know what it is or who it is or why that came up. Let's see what this crystal says. So here you have the Damborite. It says, who needs it? Emos, goths, button up, white collar stress cases. You need it when the daily grind has ground you into the pavement, when you feel like launching into space, but like astronaut training, vibing with Damborite will help you divert your busy mind away from its pesky psychic ruled orientation. There's something else out there. Flip on the high beams and explore. It says, turn on your electric light. So again, this is about seeing your inner light, your inner truth and aligning with that. And, you know, just, just being okay with whatever that shows up as. Accepting that and walking in that and with that. Okay, so both of these elements, these fair, this fairy and this um, uh, this fairy and this uh, mermaid. <laughs> so they're both looking at the Ace of Sticks and the Pisces. So whatever choice you make, it's going to put you on a new path. Like so, it's basically what I'm getting is that. The cho between the choices it is that you have to make, if you have a choice between doing the same thing and something different, you're going to be choosing to do something different. And that's when whatever is coming to you will arise to you. Um, just be careful in who it is that you are connecting with over this time because, you know, like the Undyne said, there is a marvelous tale about money coming to, to be shared with you and it is not necessarily the case the words that are being shared with you are not necessarily the truth okay somebody's over exaggerating so yes take time in your sanctuary so that you can make sure that you are making the right decision Pisces so that you can balance yourself out so that you can be still and be at peace with the choices it is that you have to make at this time. It says good for you. It seems you've earned some time away from the chaos of life. It could be as small as a bubble bath or as big as a trip. Or it's a small trip and a bubble bath. Oh, what is I? Or maybe it's a small trip to a big bubble bath or a normal size trip to a tiny bubble bath. Or maybe you tripped and fell in someone's bath. Whatever it is, it's waiting for you with open arms. Just pick your favorite sanctuary and unplug for a bit, especially if baths are involved, right? Because peace, you want peace. That's the only thing that this tower moment is happening to show you that you require peace in your life. Pisces, y'all be like in drama sometimes. And I don't think y'all be realizing it. <clears throat> Out of that need for entertainment. That's why Pisces rules media. 
it's, it's truly the entertainer. It's innovative and, um, and, and idealistic and create cinema well, right? Come up with storylines and all that stuff. Your life does not have to be uh, front and center. However, it don't, it don't have to be full of that. So that even speaks to getting rid of some people in your life because clearly the people who have been here, um, they're going to reflect you in some way, right? So if you got a lot of drama going on, then it, everything might have to go. Everything's on sale, it must go. You may even just be giving some things away. What else is here, Pisces? Yes, so that you can tap into your best self. <laughs> this is coming out on the other side um, of chance, right? So the chances that you are accumulating, culminating, comes from your best self. All right. I trust that when I'm doing what's best for me and being the happiest version of myself, the right sorts of relationships will appear in my life. That means I can let go of all of my worries about the future, knowing that my only job is to be happy in this moment, while simultaneously attaining a cosmic level of enlightened awareness and total psychological self-actualization. <sighs> yes. So peace is <laughs> strongly there. All right. Sometimes we got to Sometimes the things get shaken up to realize that we haven't truly been living um, from a space of peace. We have been alluded to the idea that we were creating peace until something shows up to have something shows up that reveals to us that that has not been the case. And this is about this has to do with work as well. So about your public image, your reputation, your, so maybe whatever choice it is that you are making, you are concerned about your reputation in that, but you may also need to be aligning your, your work, your life's work, what it is that you desire for your legacy, right, especially if it has to do with service to the community, or just whatever work it is that you do that aligns with your heart, and you need to take some time to, and this is for some of you, not all of you, um, you need to take some time to decide, make a choice. Where, what, what do you want to do? How do you want work to go? How do you want that to feel? What do you want life to be? What do you want? For, what do you want your goals to end up being? How do you see that? Right? These things are being illuminated to you very, very surely. Right? And and they are manifesting once you make that decision about how it is that you prefer to be seen because that's just important just as important as um who you decide to like how you decide to take care of yourself even what is this mercury so this is more so about your workout in the world but this is also about routines and rituals rituals may help support you at this time as well especially when it comes to where it is that you're going where you're headed your path your your life your work um your trust your faith maybe you need some spiritual help uh to reignite that sense of faith you have beauty here at the bottom hit her root. so yes not only has this situation illuminated <laughs> that the light within you that spark within you but it is also cultivating a lot of beauty in your life on in your daily life right so things are shifting nothing feels too turbulent but it could be with this sanctuary card coming out that card comes out when um you need a break from from the chaos from things like this, this fairy she's bound by by ribbons that can be taken off of her it's kind of like the eight of knives or the devil card right she got this black moon behind her as well so maybe you have been again having these subconscious thoughts going on um you have kind of trapped yourself into this mental prison that you are the only one who have the the key for 
Okay, what else is here for, for Pisces? Whatever expectation you feel like you've been having to live up to up until this point, um, yeah, it's okay. You don't have to. You can be you. You can do whatever you want to do. That's the thing. Yeah, you're moving. <laughs> you have the storks here. And this is a seven of hearts. It's a seven of cups. It's also a number three, a 21. So it's the world card. Something's coming to an end and something better is happening. You are changing residence. Um, you are flying the coop. All right, you are creating something of your own. This may be a process over the entire summer or it may happen as soon as summer hits. Um, this may already be happening, right? But you really need to be open to receiving um, what it is that is coming to you. Also be willing to put in the effort to create what it is that you are attempting to create, right? It's important for you to also figure out what, what devotion means for you in relationship. So that you can get grounded and very sure about what it is that you want for your life, right? That may seem kind of big, but it'll change because things change, right? But it's the having the idea that will support you in being on the path consistently, being on that road, on that walk it is. Um, to getting to where you're going and making adjustments along the way. Not that y'all have any any problem with that, you know, because y'all are mutable energy. But sometimes <clears throat> your idea of security is changing as well. All right. So sometimes we are fixated on what it is that we believe makes us feel secure, makes us feel safe, right? But and this may have this may be some ideology you're holding on to from your mother, from your family, from your roots, things that have been implanted in you from that of what success looks like, what it's supposed to look like, what it's supposed to feel like, right? When don't nobody know how it is that you feel. So but Pisces, y'all are one of those signs that can be told how something feels and make it that, right? Because <clears throat> that's the kind of mutable, like I said, y'all are a body of water. Anybody can throw anything into it to live. Whether it serves you or not, you don't realize until after the fact. Always hindsight. So it's important for you to focus strictly on what lights you up, starseed, okay? So got a lot of light energy here. Trust your path. Know that the, these changes that are coming about, these shifts, it's all part of the plan, right? We, we already came here with a specific kind of um, predisposition, but we're always creating how it is that we want that to manifest, how that is going to manifest, right? So... Focus on what lights you up. Focus on what makes you feel good, all right? Because that, that's what's most important. Ninth house is about adventure. It's about fun. And even in regards to work, <clears throat> maybe getting a new pet. <laughs> it's definitely important that you take some time to Focus on your inner light, your inner self style as well, and see how it is that you've been thinking about things, the details in which your, your mind processes information, and if you have been processing it properly in a way to serve you. And if you have, wonderful. If you have not, and you will know that based on how your life is going at this time, then you know, it's, it's, it's always a great time to do some reflection and correction. All right. Last part for high school spirit. Love. So, yes, this is strongly about love and relationships for you guys. The Rose Course. It says, in the eyes of lovers, everything is beautiful. All right. So, oh, and the song that came up, uh, say it again, you know. She, she's like, hey, I want this, I want you. 
Like, let's do this. What are we waiting for? All those things you was talking about, let's do this. What, what are we waiting for? Let's do it now. So, yeah, Pisces, I hope that this is helpful for you. I'm going to leave it there. Um, yes, focus on your light. Focus on your truth. Focus on what's fun for you, what makes you feel good, what you want, what you really want, what you really want. Okay. And, and, and go for that. Be in that. Do that. Live that. Don't feel like you got to appease anybody outside of yourself because you don't. We all break. Sometimes we make promises we can't keep. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's why there's forgiveness and apology. <laughs> Things change. The only thing that is, is permanent or that we can ever be sure of is the impermanence of our reality because things are always shifting, okay? So Pisces, I hope that y'all have a beautiful summer. I hope it is full of love, full of fun, full of joy for y'all, that y'all stay cool in that sun because it's hot here in Texas, all right? And yes, I will see y'all in the fall. Bye.